Okay, hi everybody. Welcome to another Lead In with Lauren. And this week I'd like to focus on the relationship between transparency and trust and maybe take the buzz out of the buzzwords uh, associated with them. They get thrown around, you know, in a rather kind of cavalier way sometime around. Everybody wanting to be, you know, transparent and trustworthy. And so let me give you a real example, I think, about how to how to you know put your money where your mouth is relative to that this past week we had a situation where uh the post-secondary institution i'm part of had a had a major cut in government funding so what do you do when you get that information in the spirit of trust and transparency well one of the things that we did is we had set up a youtube live uh framework so we could immediately call our college invite our entire college all employees to immediately gather and participate with uh, the leadership team on the information we had and what it meant for them personally. So the budget came down um, in the evening and that next more very next morning at 11 o'clock, we invited the entire college to have an open conversation. The president, the chief financial my officer, myself, we just laid it out there based on what we knew and what we didn't know. And um, we didn't have perfect information, still don't. We didn't have a lot of numbers. or In fact, we didn't have, we just had a few um, general pieces of information that we could share. But what we had was important. And here's what we could say. This is what we know. This is what we don't know. Here's what we plan on doing about it. Here's how we plan on engaging you as an entire organization going forward. And I, and I think that kind of uh, approach really puts meaning behind what transparency and ultimately trust is. So the message is uh, this week for all of us is that regardless of what organization we're in, uh, uh, you know, could be a, we, we get impacted by things that happen uh, internally or externally that people start to wonder. And when they do, those are signals that as best as we can without a spin, that we can bring people together in a quick way to say, God, gosh, you're probably wondering about this and here's what we know and here's what I know and what do you know? And, and without a spin, without trying to manage or be paternalistic or maternalistic or patronize, just lay it out there as best as you know. Trust that people want, well, can handle the information, the good, the bad, the ugly, and go from there. And when you do that, I think you build much more trust. It's more meaningful. When you establish a communication pattern like that or a system, then the organization starts to have the right and most important conversations at the right time. Easier said than done, but I'll tell you that really, you just can't throw out transparency and trust without really putting it to work. And sometimes these uh, big events are real true moments of truth where the organization really has that trust defined by how you manage the transparency and what you know. Good luck as you kind of pursue it. Uh, have a great week. Thank you again for joining us on our socials, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Bye for now.